Yeah, those ones are 19 foot pounds. All right, guys, we're moving right along. So we got a first bracket completely bolted on and torqued down. Now we're on step 17. We're going to be putting on the next bracket that bolts to the first bracket. And it's going to take a couple of bolts right here. So here we go. Something ain't right. That bolt, that bolt bottomed out. That one should have went flush. It ain't it, going. It didn't bottom out. I stopped. Oh. Yeah, I, I had stopped because I didn't want to go tighten it too much and not be able to adjust it. To no, I got you. All right, we got our second bracket bolted on. Now we're torquing it down. All right. All right, so now we're going to move along to step 18. And it looks like we're going to be installing the other bracket setup, which is the big bracket setup with the, the tube spacers that... Uh, holds the actual supercharger head unit on so we're going to get all of our pieces set up and get ready for that all right guys so as you can see we got our big main bracket loosely assembled by hand there's three tube spacers that you have to install behind it and we're going to go ahead and tighten down these bolts real quick and then we're going to torque them down with a torque wrench Alright, time to get the torque wrench out. Torque those bolts fully down. Are those 30 still or 29? Those are the big the big ones, so they should still be the same torque. Uh yeah, 30. All right, guys, so we have this bracket fully torqued down, mounted all up. Uh, just to recap, tell you real quick, so the tensioner right here, that comes assembled on the bracket already from Torque Storm. And in the instructions, they do tell you you have to unbolt it from their bracket in order to get this bolt through the main bracket into the other bracket right here. And then once you get that bolt in and torqued down, then you need to re reassemble the tensioner back onto the main bracket and then torque down the 15 millimeter nut that's right here. And then that is pretty much it. So we are moving right along. Process is going very easy. Everything's bolting right up, lining up like it's supposed to be. Super, super simple. So the moment we've all been waiting for, we're at step 20 here, and that is we're going to be mounting on the supercharger head unit. So we have the supercharger right here in this box. Let me get some junk out of the way. And there it is sitting here in the bag. So we're about to put this bad boy on the main bracket there you go torque storm 
All right, so we're gonna get all of our bolts and hardware ready for this thing and go drop it on the bracket. Other thing I want to mention real quick, guys, the supercharger from Torque Storm comes with oil already in the supercharger. There's no need to add oil. They tag them and they specifically say right here, units filled with six ounces of oil, tested and ready to run. So you don't have to do anything. No adding oil to it or anything. Bolt it on, you're good to go. Um, but in the future, when you do an oil change on this thing and you drain all the oil out, they only hold six ounces of oil. And Torque Storm on their website, they sell the oil in pre measured bottles ready to go. Easy peasy. All right, Mopar fam, we are back. And look what we got going on over here. We got the Torque Storm supercharger sitting in the bracket we're about to tighten up all the bolts and then torque them down to spec uh, but pretty much all the brackets are on supercharger is about to be bolted in place permanently and then it'll be time to start working on our uh, little crossover tube and again this is not going to be an intercooler setup it's going to be water meth setup only so we will only have a tube a short pipe running from the top of the supercharger here to the throttle body and we have already loosened the band on the Torque Storm Supercharger and clocked the outlet going up because we're going to be running a 90 from here and then over. And then our other pipe will have a 90 already made into it going right down into the rubber coupler. So pretty much that's our plan. So we're going to start torquing some bolts down. We're going to be torquing these bolts down to 29 foot-pounds, which is approximately eh, three to four rat tats or ugga duggas. Or, if you guys watch the channel, motherfuckers. Bada bam! Torque Storm Supercharger head unit fully mounted, torqued down, ready to go. So now, I say we go ahead and we put the belt on. Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's throw on a belt. All right, Mopar fam, we are back. And as you can see, we got Supercharger on, obviously. Now we got a belt. We have the factory ram accessory belt installed and for those that don't know the torque storm supercharger setup runs its own separate belt just for the supercharger you retain your factory uh, serpentine belt so that is another reason why i love these systems it's got its own dedicated belt unlike the pro charger kits use one massive long belt that usually is nothing but a slip fest and bunch of nightmares that's for sure the other thing is these belts and pulley systems is eight rib 
All of their kits come eight rib, pulleys, and belt. All your cheap Pro Charger kits, unless you upgrade the pulley drive system on them, they all come six rib. Not Torque Storm. You get an eight rib drive setup that is going to be badass. It doesn't slip. Works awesome. There you go. All right, so now it's time to build the top pipe for our crossover. And then this pipe is also going to have our blow-off valve, our IAT sensor, and our meth injection nozzle installed in this short pipe right here that's going to go between the supercharger outlet and the intake manifold inlet. So there you go. Moving on. As soon as we get this pipe finished up, we're going to show you exactly what we did and how we did it.